Welcome back to Velf Creations. Today, we're diving into some laser engraving blanks we grabbed from Timu. Are they worth it? Let's find out. Before we jump into the projects, we want to give a quick shout out to Creative Fabrica. Many of the designs we use in our videos come from Creative Fabrica, and we absolutely love it. With a single subscription, you get access to SVGs, images, laser cut files, sublimation designs, and more. Today, we'll also be testing our Timu materials using designs from Creative Fabrica. This video isn't sponsored, but we do have an affiliate link in the description if you'd like to support our channel. The link includes a free one-month trial with 10 free downloads, and after that, it's just $9 a month or $59 a year for unlimited downloads. Most designs come with a commercial license, so you can focus more on growing your business and less on designing. Now, let's dive into the projects. We will begin with some awesome and strong stainless steel bottle openers. Each project in the video will include the price and the settings we used for both the standard X-Tool F1 and the F1 Ultra. Our Timu affiliate links for each product will also be in the video description. Since you can take these bottle openers anywhere, we are looking for an outdoor type of design on Creative Fabrica. There are a lot to choose from, but we really like this one. We noticed that these bottle openers have a really thick coating which is great for durability, but it also means that the lower power F1 does have some issues cutting through the paint. We needed to run the blue light laser five times and then also switch to the IR laser for a cleanup pass to get the look that we wanted. It just took a bit of time. Keep in mind a lot of these projects are a time lapse for time's sake, but the Ultra does blaze through these, only requiring one pass with the fiber laser. Next up, we got a pack of these round keychains. These are super affordable and engrave really fast on either the F1 or F1 Ultra. And for a pack of 25, these could be a great free gift that you can include in your packaging. Back on Creative Fabrica, we wanted to search for an encouraging round design that we can engrave, and this one looks perfect. For these, we chose to use the IR laser to get a bright white engraving. Switching to the blue light could also get you down to the bare metal if that is the look you're going for. These turned out great, and we ended up doing both sides. However, we did notice that a few of them came with some scuff marks. So it is something to keep in mind when ordering the amount that you want. The Ultra also did a great job, creating the same bright white engraving but at a much faster speed. Next up, we have the keychains that are very similar to the previous ones, except they are house-shaped, perfect for a housewarming gift or for realtors to give to their clients. We wanted to take this time and thank all of our subscribers for your continued support. If you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to hit that button so you don't miss more fun laser engraving videos like this one. Don't forget to like the video, hit the bell icon for notifications, drop a comment below. Which machine is your go-to laser, and also let us know what material is your favorite to work with. Just like the round keychains, these ended up engraving perfectly on the F1, and the design from Creative Fabrica looks great. Like always, the Ultra can engrave much faster doing it at more than twice the speed of the F1. Nice. Looks great. We also have something for our pet friends. These come in a pack of 20 with two of each color. The great thing about Creative Fabrica is that you can also get fonts. So we picked a cool looking one called Farmhouse. Once you install it on your computer, you will be able to go into your XCS fonts list and select it from there. The quality is fine and like some of the other metal keychains, a few of them had some scuff marks. The thickness is also okay, but they do bend with a bit of force. What do you guys think? Are they worth it for the price? We do like that they come in different colors, but I think we would eventually just pick one or two colors that we like and order those in bulk, since you would have to buy quite a few of these packs to have enough of each color. Lately, we've been working more with faux leather. Just a heads up, always be cautious when engraving any material, including faux leather, as some can release harmful fumes. To stay safe, Make sure you're using materials specifically designed for laser engraving. We love how quickly PU leather engraves on both the F1 and F1 Ultra. You can typically run the engraving at high speeds and still get a nice dark finish. 
While the Ultra is faster and gives a deeper engraving, we preferred the results from the F1. It came out just the way we wanted. That might be because we have more experience with the F1, but either way, both machines did a great job. The Ultra also added a bit of an outline to the design. Next time, we will probably lower the power a touch. We also got these car keychains in PU leather. We were pleasantly surprised with the quality. The strap feels nice and sturdy and the hardware on it looks great. We found a quick drive safe design. We love designing our own files, but sometimes we don't have enough time and Creative Fabrica makes it way easier. Using the same settings as the previous one and it turned out great, although we can probably work on our centering a bit. This is more of a surface marking. Do you guys prefer deep engravings on leather material or something more like this? The Ultra ended up doing a very similar thing as the previous round keychain engraving. The edges look a bit darker, almost like an outline. So these settings may not be optimized for this material. This EDC keychain pry bar caught our attention but is one of the more random items on this list. It is made of a durable stainless steel, and we knew that the F1 may struggle marking it. We are just using our logo and ran it at a slow 10 millimeters per second. At first glance, it seems like the engraving is nice and dark, but when we move it around, the design fades. We also sped this one up quite a bit because it took around seven minutes. However, to get a similar look on the Ultra, we were able to run it at a speed of 500 millimeters per second. This gives it a much darker look and we didn't even speed up the engraving. We also have the option to drop down the speed to 50 or 100 millimeters and actually cut into the stainless if that is the look we are going for. We don't have much use for these keychain organizers, but it caught our attention because it looks very similar to a product from another brand that we won't mention here. Just a hint they make wallets too. We really like the color, and we will use the same font from Creative Fabrica that we downloaded for our pet tags. We use the same settings that we often use for our thick black metal business cards, and it turned out great on both the F1 and F1 Ultra. We really like the combination of the white, blue, and black. However, with these, you can also switch to the blue light laser to get a metallic look. We are looking for wallets similar to this style. So if you guys have any suggestions on which ones worked for you and where you purchased them, let us know in the comments. As many of you know, one of our favorite things to engrave with our X-Tool machines are tumblers and water bottles. We have quite a few lasers, and we have always loved how these come out on the X-Tool. We like to always do two passes on the F1. The blue light does a better job at removing coating from the tumblers, and then we use the IR laser as a second pass to clean up. Both the machines also do a very nice job engraving these without a rotary tool, although the size of what you can do is a bit smaller on the F1. We like to stick to narrow vertical designs like our logo or names. This little tumbler is the perfect size for the X-Tool F1, and it creates a nice and clean engraving. With the Ultra, we actually prefer to just use the fiber laser. The first pass is enough to remove the coating, and at a higher frequency, the second pass will polish up the metal. The two passes on the Ultra end up being about the same time as a single pass on the F1, and it creates a shiny look instead of a matte look on the F1. The best thing about both is that no additional cleaning is required once the engraving is done. The last product we will look at is this sleek, insulated water bottle. Just like the tumbler, there are no logos or designs on this one, which allows you to simply engrave anywhere without worrying about how to center the engraving. We grabbed these last two designs off of Creative Fabrica to add a nice touch of personality to this bottle. As this final project wraps up, please let us know. If you have any questions or suggestions about what we've worked on, drop them in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. If you would like to be featured on our social media accounts, tag us on your creations. We also just hit 8,000 subscribers and we can't thank you enough for all the incredible support. This journey wouldn't be possible without you, and we're excited to keep growing with your feedback and ideas. Let us know what kinds of projects or tutorials you'd like to see next. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, stay creative.